Think a sluggish throttle means an expensive trip to the mechanic? Think again. In this video, I'll walk you through three simple methods to reset your throttle position sensor. Each method has its ideal use case, ensuring you apply the correct solution for your throttle or vehicle model. Don't worry, each step will be simple, and I'll mention key mistakes to avoid to keep everything safe. Let's start with the easiest method, but stick around for the third method. It's the most reliable option when other methods don't work. How to reset the throttle position sensor using basic ignition reset. This is the first method, and it applies to most modern vehicles. It's ideal when your car feels sluggish, the throttle isn't responding properly, or the engine is revving strangely, but there are no error codes. Let's dive right in. First, make sure the car is completely off and parked safely. Just take the key out of the ignition and relax for a second. No rush here. We're going to take it step by step. Now, pop the key back in, but don't start the engine yet. Just turn it to the on position so the dashboard lights come on. You'll see all those warning lights flashing, but don't worry, it's normal. Next, we're moving to the gas pedal, where things get a little technical. Slowly press the gas pedal down. It should take about four seconds to get it all the way to the floor. Once it's down, hold it there for three seconds. I'll admit I've rushed through this before, but trust me, smooth and steady is the way to go. The whole thing only takes around seven seconds. Now, gently release the gas pedal as slowly as you pressed it. Take about four seconds to fully lift your foot off. Then, repeat this whole press hold release process two more times. I know it might feel like overkill, but skipping any part could throw off the whole reset. Once you've done it three times, turn the key to off and remove it from the ignition. Give it about 10 seconds, almost there. Now for the final check. Put the key back in, start the car, and pay attention to how the throttle responds. Is the engine revving more smoothly? Does the throttle feel more responsive when you press the pedal? If you notice a smoother, quicker response, the reset worked perfectly. Before jumping into the second method, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. I'll wait. Done? Awesome, let's keep going. How to reset the throttle position sensor using the battery disconnect method. This is the second method. It's ideal for vehicles with electronic throttle control systems when the basic reset doesn't work. Be careful when handling the battery and don't leave the key in the ignition. Now, to get started, park safely and turn off the engine. Then pop the hood and locate the battery. Use a wrench to loosen the nut on the black cable, which is the negative terminal. Once it's loose, carefully pull the cable off the battery and be sure the metal part doesn't touch anything else to avoid short circuiting. Leave the battery disconnected for about 5 to 10 minutes. This lets the system reset and clears out any leftover electrical charge. Then reconnect the black cable and tighten the nut. Next, Insert the key into the ignition and turn it to the on position, but don't start the engine. Let the dashboard lights run their checks. Start the car and let it idle for 10 to 15 minutes without pressing the gas pedal. After idling, turn off the engine, restart, and check for improvements. If that doesn't solve your problem, don't worry. There's a slightly more involved trick that could be exactly what your car needs. The third method is throttle position sensor reprogramming. This method is for vehicles with severe throttle position sensor issues or after replacing the throttle body. If persistent error codes are related to the TPS, this method is what you need. But before you dive in, if you're unsure whether your TPS is severely damaged, don't skip ahead just yet. Check the video link above or in the description to better understand the signs of a faulty TPS. Knowing the signs will save you time and help you decide if this advanced solution is necessary. To get started, make sure your car battery is in good condition. And here's a quick tip. If you're not comfortable removing sensors, it's best to get some help to avoid any mistakes. Now let's walk through it. First, turn off the engine and ensure it's cold. Don't rush this part. A hot engine can be dangerous. Disconnect the negative battery cable using a wrench and wait for about two minutes. Afterwards, reconnect the cable. Next, turn the key to the on position but hold off on starting the engine. 
Stand near the front of the car and listen closely. You'll hear a soft buzzing sound from the throttle body. This means the throttle is learning its position. Be patient here. The buzzing usually takes three to five minutes to stop. Once done, turn the key to the off position and remove it from the ignition. Now we're almost there. Start the engine and let it idle for about 10 to 15 minutes to recalibrate the throttle. Don't skip this step, as it's crucial for the system to adjust properly. Finally, take the car for a short test drive to ensure the throttle response is smooth. After resetting your throttle position sensor, keeping the throttle body clean is the next key step to ensure your engine runs smoothly. A good rule of thumb is to clean it every 20,000 kilometers to prevent any performance issues. But here's something to watch out for. Never use carburetor spray, thinner, or gasoline. These can damage the throttle. Instead, use a specialized cleaner like the CRC Throttle Body Cleaner. It's effective, gentle on coatings, and a popular choice for many car owners. I've added a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. We've just nailed how to reset the throttle position sensor. But don't stop there. To stay ahead of future problems, check out our video on the symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor. Catch these warning signs early and save yourself from costly repairs. Tap here to watch now.